All right, first of all, we cut the bag open on the outside. We take out our, our bag of Antonia plastics out of the, uh, Hi, Shirley. the cover. Okay, then we take our um, tubing out of its wrapper. We move the little blue slide clamp uh, a little ways up and we slide it closed. It's just one clamp or both? Yes, because okay. it's uh, two channels, but they are, they're put together with a little Y connector right here. Okay, it makes one. And uh, we've uh, hung the one bag on the uh, side of the table with tape. We're going to put the end of the tubing into the bag with this little cover still on it that remains on. And we're going to take a little piece of tape and tape that tubing down so it doesn't come out while we're working with the bag. Okay, your tubings are color-coded to match your your bag one is has a yellow one. The uh, uh, pump set, this is called the pump set, has uh, the yellow on it. Okay, so Jan, this is going to be your tubing on this side. The first thing we want to do is to take, take no, no. Yeah. yeah, we're going to take our bag, okay. put the so ports pointing towards the floor. Okay, so These are all the recall ports. This is the port where they fill the bag. This is the port where they would add other medication <laughs> okay. if needed. This is the port where we um, spike the bag. You want it pointing to the floor? No, you want it pointing to the ceilings. Okay. Okay. This is our port or our uh, spike. This is called the spike. Mm -hmm. What we want to do is fold these down the two outer ports and make sure that they are the middle port is just up by itself. You want the little piggy tail closest to you. Turn it around a little because we'll be pulling away from yourself. Hold it between your fingers, the index finger and the middle finger. Like a cigarette. Yeah. Like a and then cigarette. take your um, spike and hold it under the wings with your thumb and your index finger. Okay? And everything's right there and just real handy, okay? Everything's out of the way. Let me show you my goal. My goal is to take this off, drop it, take this lid off, drop it, okay? Now I'll do it and you wait. Drop, drop, and we'll pick it up, wait just a minute, under the wings, insert, and you actually push and turn because All right, then press the enter. Boy, that really makes a mark in the... Yeah, it does, but oh. it comes out. Press enter. Uh -huh. And then it tells you hold the start button down. And you hold it down till you're satisfied with all these bubbles getting out. Okay? Well, out of side one is all you're going to be. Okay? That's good. Now, we're going to enter. You always do the enter to go to the next screen. What is it? 1.17? That's what we just used out of there. Not, not important, huh? No, because we've already allowed for that up here. There's more bubbles in here? And that's on side two. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, KVO, KVO for side one is point 0.1, so find your decimal and go behind it there. You need point 0.6. Point 0.6, yes, I'm sorry. I'm paying okay. attention. You are. You're doing really well. Okay. You can accomplish a lot of things when you pay attention. Huh? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Enter. All right. Now come up here to your dose volume. I mean your dose time. Dose time yeah. is and this is like 48. a digital clock. This is hours and minutes. Right, so it's forty-eight. Forty-eight minutes. Okay. Okay. And enter. then enter. Mm -hmm. And then your dose volume is two hundred, and that's a whole number. So now yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right, and then enter that. And then you come up to your cycle time, four hours. Okay. Enter that. Okay. Come to your delay start. That's zero. That's zero so it's just, just fine. Uh -huh. Go back now and check your numbers just to make sure you have them in the right place. Now, how do I check? And you'll do that by pressing enter. Bag volume okay. is 218 because we we've primed used a little bit. Uh -huh. We've already primed, so we don't need to do that again. KVO should be 0.6. Right. Dose time, 48. 48 minutes. Volume is 200. 200. Cycle, 4. 4. Delay, Perfect. 0. Very good. Perfect. Okay. Switch over to side 2. And put those numbers in. 
Okay, so now I hit enter. Mm -hmm. Bag volume is uh, 305. That's correct. Enter. Prime set. Yeah, we want to go ahead and prime it. Yes. Hold start to prime. Right. So let's see where that little bubble is so I can track okay. it before I start. Now it doesn't, those little tiny ones don't really matter, but as long as we get them on past the pump set, sometimes you have to kind of jiggle your tubing to make it go. That looks good. What about that one? That's fine. What about this one here? Those are fine. They're little tiny ones. They're not going to hurt anything at all. I promise okay. you. Okay. 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 So you prime. Now let's enter. KBO is supposed to be zero for side two. That's correct. Okay. And enter again. Uh -huh. And your dose time will, dose be, 12 time will be 12 minutes. Dose time will be 12 minutes. Enter. And your dose and volume, volume is 50, 50, and that's always a whole number. Okay. okay. Enter. Cycle time, four hours again. Good morning, good morning. Do you know what Corey's in the hallway? <laughs> I said, I don't know. The man's the weed. They're probably they talking. Were they ready to go take him to see the doctor? Was that where I they were I don't know. Him? Delay time. They usually come in here first. I don't know. Maybe they're talking. 48. For, okay. Let's, let's find out. Now, well. With a solenoid <laughs> illness. Who's doing this? I'm learning. Come on in. Come on in. We're gonna, I'm going to check my... She's going to check me anyhow. Delay time is 48? Yeah, because we're on bag two. So the delay start is 48 because it takes 48 for the first bag to go over, so it won't start for 48 minutes. Because it's bag one goes through, finishes, then bag two. Exactly. Very good. So let's check it just to make sure. Yeah. Enter. Bag volume is 303 because we've primed some. Prime set? No, we don't need to time anymore. KVO is zero, because you said it was zero. Dose time is 12 minutes. Uh, dose volume is 50. Cycle time is four hours. So really, every four hours, he's go it's going to run for an hour this time. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he's, exactly. he's on for an hour mm -hmm. and off for three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delay time is 48 minutes. And that wouldn't it wouldn't really wouldn't matter if I put 49 minutes, then it wouldn't be running for a minute in between, theoretically. Well, it's not going to just start running again. I see. What we want it to do is just side one run in, and as soon as side one stops, then we want side two to kick in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically, your um, just layman's terms, this one goes in and breaks everything up. This one comes along and kills it all. So he has it. He doesn't want it running simultaneously. He wants it one right after the other. Okay. So that's why we do it that way. You now always do what Dr. B wants. Now what? Okay. Now uh, we open this and we put it on the end of our tubing. Oh, and here. Uh -huh. And you can open that up. You can tear it or you can cut it. And you can touch it because it's all covered. It has a cover on each end. Okay. Let me see what it is. Okay. Right. Okay. I have to move this tape, uh -huh. and I'll have to close this no, up. No, because your pump is your clamp now. Okay. okay, now what you're going to do is just uh, take your little cap off right here and hold it here at the hub. That way you don't cause a leak. Oh, I see. Yeah. I didn't know where the cap was. Yeah. Okay, now hold, put it between your fingers. Okay. And then just pick this up and bring it to and take that end off and put it right on there. And you don't want to squeeze it too or turn it too tight because we don't want it to leak. Always hold right here because if you keep twisting oh, that I tubing, see. it will make it leak. Not too much. Okay. I see there's a bubble there. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna be okay. okay. All right. Let me just check it now. Please do.
you always want to go back after you've checked your numbers and everything just to make sure that you, you're in the right all the way to your bag just to make sure you're all the way spiked into the right bag as well as in the right channel. Oh yeah, that okay? would really be Yeah, important. I've had that happen to people before. They put the wrong spike in and then they thought they were in the right place. Okay, now we'll take your bag, put your hemostats in there because you always want to carry your hemostats with you. Does it matter if it... No, you don't have to keep them in there if you don't want. Okay. They just come in there. Okay, put your bags in first. Bags in first. Put yep. them with the white towards the zipper pull. Yeah, that's, you had it right. White with it towards the zipper pull. Okay. okay. Just the same. Uh -huh. That way it keeps your short end on this side. Okay. And allows your long end to go out to the uh, other side okay. where it's supposed to be. Open it up, put face down. Okay. okay put your little fuzzy side down here. Over. Okay. The strap goes over. Over the tubing, keep everything right. in place. It's Velcro here, there. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. All right, now just close it and zip it up. Okay. Okay. You want to get all your bubbles past your Y. And it makes it easier if you do keep it taut like this. Because uh, when it's just flopping around, it doesn't come well. Just come on. Let's go up. You press and I'll just check it out. Okay. Now, close your clamp. You can stop pressing on it. Okay. Close the clamp. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, see, that's not bad. And we, we're going to get those up here. All right, now what we need to do is tear off our tape. Tear off the tape. About four or five inches. Not like that. Two for my bag, and then you'll do three for yours. Just hang on. Because I'm bigger than you. Yeah, it's called it's wider. Yeah. There you go. Okay. okay. Now pick up your bag for the third and hopefully last time. And we're going to tap all three quarts again. Just make sure nothing is hiding out. And then you start tapping all the rest of the way up the bag, front and back. Okay, and what little bubbles that we have in there, we're going to roll up. Okay. So you see your fluid doesn't go all the way to the top, so squeeze the bottom of the bag. And just gently just uh, tap around the edges or around the sides. Okay, so you want to get that fluid up there so they will stay up there. Okay. Now, put your finger through this little, it's called a hanging hole. Okay. And just slowly let go and the bubbles stay up there. If they're way out at the edge like this one of mine is, just kind of push it towards the center. If there's any little laggers back here, push them up. There you go. That's great. Okay. I just let it fall right into the crease. Yeah. <laughs> a little straggler. Okay. I just fold it right at the crease and then we'll make a half. That's good. Okay, so now I fold it right at that crease there. Right. Yeah, fold away from you. Your fingers oh, like go, 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 go this way. Because your fingers work better going away from you than trying okay. to come back. Okay. And then fold a half. Okay, good. So you were going to translate all that. Right. 
take your first piece of tape and put it across your middle there. And then one on each end, as far out towards the end as you possibly can make it go. Okay, so Dr. Rios decided that you were hormonally resistant, okay, meaning that it wouldn't do any good to continue the hormonal blockade. Then he gave you carboplatin and taxol. Okay. Okay. All right, now just turn your bag up like this and see if you see any bubbles floating out. If you do, then you have to take the tape loose and re-roll. But you did good. I see no bubbles. You did it. Yes, I did it. Yeah. Let's see, you were dreading all that for nothing. I wasn't dreading. <laughs> Somebody was. No, she was just thinking we were such bozos we would never catch on. That's okay, we're going to prime. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to prime everything out now. Okay. Okay. Let's prime. All right. Let's go ahead and we'll put the tubing back into the pump. Okay. You remember. Always tell everybody start with your yellow one first. That way we don't have any doubts if we do. Yellow on the right side or not. So this goes right in here first. And you want it when um, this is kind of stiff right now when it's new. So if you push it by this instead of pulling okay. it by that, because it will make it leak. If you pull the top up, make sure it just sits right at 90 degrees. Yep. Okay. Well, so. Uh, now you want to so push down here because if you hold it pushing with this, this, it can't slide, lift up and slide that way to lock it. Yeah. It doesn't slide very far. There you go. Okay. Okay, now this the other side. So that's why we're recommending the thalidomide and the bepicin. And then all the orders are already written here, so you just have to tell the nurse if you want to begin. Hmm. Gotta lift up on this. Oh, you That's like a latch. Oh, I see. Hmm. So. Uh -huh. Okay, you'll get it. First few times, it's kind of tricky. Okay. First, we have to get it registered. There. Okay. It's a. Yeah. You'll, you'll get you'll get the hang okay. of it. Okay. You always want to make sure it's not. Yeah. That maybe that was why it was harder to. And um, okay. Okay. And they're not crimped in there. Okay. Now what we have to do is fix up our numbers to put into the pump. Let me see what Dr. Ordered for you today. Take only for three or three or four days. We have to wait. Yeah, yeah. It could be possible. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have that. Okay, so that means that 200 is coming out of bag one, and okay. 50 will come out of bag two. And I put that in the second mm -hmm. one, right in the center. Mm -hmm. And then this is your always your rate, unless it, the rate is always 250. Unless he tells you differently. Okay. Okay. Let's see what Okay, these are the only two boxes you have to actually calculate. But these are uh, replicas of what the screen of the pump looks like. So what we want to do is get our sorry, get our uh, numbers all fixed up before we okay. turn our pump on. These I can't see all the Okay, so what we need to do is just follow directions here. For bag one, we're going to multiply our dose volume. See, this is our dose volume. 50. No, 200. I'm sorry, 200. Uh -huh. 200. Uh -huh. 200. Is 200 to fit 250, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Times six plus 20. Plus 20. Okay. 
And you put your, that's the, how much you need for the whole day. One, two, two, zero. Okay, do the same thing with side two. Side 50 two. times six. That's three, 300. Uh -huh. And then add five. 355. No. Yeah. Three, 305. 305. Uh -huh. I'll be the mathematician, Barry. <laughs> okay. Okay, we don't do anything with that. Now we want to circle for adults right here. That's right. Okay. There you go. And see, the KVO, that's what keeps the little what trickle. KVO stand for? Keep vein open. That's Keep the little tr trickle that runs through there in between doses. Okay. Okay, and he, that only comes out of side one. That's why we add the extra 20 up here. Okay. So that's just a point six. Side two has zero. None comes out there. Okay. We move up here to our dose time. We have to calculate our time. So this is your instruction. Is dose volume, again, is your 200, 200. divided by your rate, which is 250. 200, 200 divided by 250. Divided by 250. And then times 60 to get your minutes. Times 60. Okay. 48 minutes. 48 even. Okay, right here. If it comes out 48.1, it would go up to 49. Okay. Point anything goes to 9. I mean, okay. to the next one. The so same for. Yeah. That's 250. No, 50 divided by 250. Sorry, because it's 50. Yeah, 50. It's this dose. Uh -huh. 50. 50 divided by. 250 times 60. Times 60. Is it 50 divided by 200? No, no. Mm -hmm. 50 divided by 250. Okay, see, this is your. This is your rate here. Okay. Yeah. The dose. So, what do we have? We have 12, 12 minutes. So, you're going to be running for a whole hour. Okay. See, you can tell the difference because this is your dose volume. A dose means like one dose. So, each one dose, you get 200. And then uh, you, you get 200 out of side one, and then uh, you get 50 out of side two. No, I have a And that's every four hours, okay? Okay. All right, so then we come up here and we need a delay start. Now, side one, we're not gonna, it's going to be zero right now. Yeah. Okay. Side two will always be whatever this is on side one, so it'll be 48 minutes because we don't want bag two to start running until bag one is complete. So it'll always be whatever that is, okay? All right, now you're fixed up. So you come over here, you, you know, turn your pump on. Turn this over. Uh -huh. Turn the pump on. Uh -huh. and set it down there. Just let it... Uh, well, I'm might, afraid to set it down. No, that's cold. okay. It won't hurt that. Uh -huh. You might need it right in front of you because it's okay. kind of hard to see from a distance. Okay. From, you know, from a, now it's a set large. Yeah, it has to go through its little warm-up. Old program, resume. All right, when you're at this resume screen, resume, yes. you're going to just do... This is your instruction right here between Enter. the boxes. Enter two times. Twice. Mm -hmm. One. Make it beep. It has to be there. One, two. That brings you to this screen. It says okay. ready, intermittent, one. Okay. Okay. And what we need to do, when it says ready, that means it's not ready, that it has numbers in it, in other words. Yes. So we didn't put numbers in today, so it must be old numbers, so we don't want them in there. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to here and clear the program. So to clear the program, you're going to press yes and no at the same time, okay? And it should same say position. clear program one on No, there. it says ready two. We want to clear that as well, right? For two, okay. two uh, close, or is that your, wrong? Your no toggles you back and forth between one and two, so let's put it back on one. If you hold your finger a little bit long on no, you have to just do it really quick. <laughs> Make it beep. Nope, that's ready too. Okay. All right. First, just press uh, yes with this finger and then just press a quick no and let go of both of them. There you okay. go. There you go. Okay. Clear program one. So you're going to say yes. Okay. Yes. And the next thing, you have to enter that yes. Okay. So that's clear. It should say fluid now. That's right. Okay. All right. So now you're going to press the no to go to side two. And that switches you to side two, and now you're going to repeat the same thing. Okay. Does it Beautiful. say clear program yes, it does. two? Okay, now you're going to say yes. 
And then you're going to enter that yes. Enter. Okay, now press no again to go back to side one. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think that's no. right. I didn't do that right. No. What happened? Um, okay. Oh, I see. I, I, okay, let's press here and that'll take us back to the beginning. Okay, ready to. Mm -hmm. So then I go nice. clear program, then I go yes. Uh -huh. And then enter and the enter yes. There. Uh -huh. I see. Uh -huh. I see where I made my Okay. Side. All right, now that brings you down to this screen on side two now. Right. So this is your, uh, let's see, we're still we on two. two. We're still two. Okay, press no, and that'll take you back to one. All right, now here we are, back on right. that fluid one, and here's your instruction again. Press enter. enter to go to the next screen. Okay. Bag volume. Bag volume for our side one is 1220, so, so that's thousands and hundreds. Okay. So yeah. Thousands. One, two on that one. There you go. There you go. And then, okay. And then enter that. We can only do side one's numbers, and then have to come back and change it to side two and do side two. Okay. Okay. Prime set no, it shows. So we're going to prime the set. We want to prime yes. it, so you're going to say yes. Okay. We want to open Hit our enter. clamp first, though, because it won't go. Okay. Do the hands the part on the, okay. the pump. Yep. Okay, just open it up by lifting and sliding. Is this sliding. running now? Yeah. Okay. okay. And let me show you how it comes up. See how it's put in here? Uh -huh. You have a little L shape right in this area. Okay. That's where the um, optic lens is. Okay. And this is a cutout piece. It's like a child's puzzle. It just fits right down over. Got it. And then this just kind of stretches over and has to sit at a 90 degree angle right okay. there. Okay. No problem. Okay, okay. let's pull it out now. This one as well? Uh-huh. And this goes like this. Up and slide. Up. There you Not go. a problem there. Yeah. Very okay. good. Okay. Not a problem. Okay. Now we're just going to take uh, the old bags out of, the, out of that bag. And boy, they are dry, see? So that's why you're <laughs> having to change bags already. Uh huh. Just all this goes in the waste. Okay, uh, now you can open up the back and put it your. Spurt it out. I'm sorry. Uh, open up your back here and op uh, put in your new batteries. Okay. Batteries. See, just, yeah. And then push up. Push it up to unlock it. There you go. Great. Great. And those just go in the regular trash. I'll take them and put them in there now so we don't get them mixed up. I have done that before. Boy, that white on white really... Uh... Hmm. There's a zoom here, right? Yes, sir. Right on the side. On this side. On this side, right there. Oh, this thing here. And this I should put back in here before I forget. Uh huh. And you'll be sending me these batteries because mm -hmm. they're lithium all batteries. Mm -hmm. All of it comes in the. You can buy those out anywhere, but they do yeah. come with your supplies. Put your ribbon back, uh, back over like this, and then that. Oh. That way, when you pull it up, it pulls them both up. Okay, and it's like that. Okay, put it down and push down and make sure it locks down. Down that way. <laughs> Okay, now it's locked good. Okay. Okay, just set that over to the side. Okay. And what we want to do is uh, go ahead and what we're going to do today, because you're uh, already into a larger dose, Okay. Uh, we are going to start with, we're doing this for teaching purposes. Okay, you won't be doing it quite this way once you get home, but this is to teach you how to get the bag changed. And of course, we have to teach you how to expite the bag too today. Yes. Okay, so what we're doing is since he, he's going to need fluid out of these two bags, see this is the same fluid, this is both mm -hmm. A10 bag one, okay. but this is just in a bigger bag. This is the largest bag it comes in. So once you get home, this is the bag you'll be getting, and okay. you'll probably change about three times a day. All right. Right well. now we're just going to start with this smaller bag, get one dose out of that, and then come back in an hour or so and put this one on put okay. these two on because actually both sides have gone up the doses have reached to where we need more than one bag okay, okay. so what we want to do is I'll do one bag and you can do the other 
That's and, fair enough. Uh, I've got my little hemostats here. I've got my hemostats here. And uh, I'll go ahead and do the little one. Sometimes it's harder uh, to I, do. I need a scissors. Right here. We don't have a scissors in my kit. No, we don't give you scissors. We supply them. Usually the plane doesn't let you take <laughs> <have> scissors. <laughs> I know. Okay. Now we need a drip bag to go on the side of the table. Okay. So you can use this mm -hmm. and tape. Mm -hmm. Do you have a drip bag on your side? No, we just need one. And you can tear that tape. It's very easy okay. to tear. I'll use two pieces. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And then the first thing we want to do is open up our tubing. Okay. And you can just peel that open or you can cut it with the scissors. It doesn't matter. My fingers aren't quite as nimble as they used to be, so I usually cut it open. Okay. And you can just take it out and you can lay it on the table. It has covers on everything. Just okay. put the paper over. Okay, now you see it comes, it's all rolled up. It has this little paper mm -hmm. hold, uh, just holds yep. it. So just tear that off and uncoil the tubing and push this little blue slide clamp, oh, about halfway up the tubing. Just, oh. yeah, that okay. way it'll stay up on the table for you. Close it? Mm-hmm. Slide it closed. Okay. And then take the end and put into the bag about halfway down and take, put a piece of tape over so it will not hang down in the liquid. Okay. Okay. And then you notice how they are, the tubings are color coded. Yes, ma'am. And the uh, color code matches the bag. So these yellow one. So this is your tubing. Okay. And this will be bag two. Two is blue. Blue two. Okay. So what we want to do is we're going to pick the bags up like so okay. with the port, the middle port pointing to the floor. Okay. We're going to hold the the middle port pointing. I mean to the ceiling. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> the other I got, floor. I got can, the other. Floor. Yeah, the other floor. Okay. That floor. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, hold it in your left hand between okay. your index finger and your middle finger. Okay. There you go. Great. All right. Now take your tubing and we're going to put it between our index finger and thumb. Okay. Okay. Now let me just show you what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to take this off, drop it, take this off, drop it, and then take under the wings and insert. Okay. okay. Now, let me do it first and you watch. Push and turn. Okay. okay. Good hold with finger and thumb there. Push and turn, very hard. It has a little membrane, it has to pierce. It's spiking the bag. Mm -hmm. okay. This is called spiking the bag. <clears throat> okay. Boy, that's... This, you'll get tough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, now you spiked a bag. Okay. Okay, now what we need to do is uh, take your hemostats. Have you ever used hemostats before? You can lay the bag down. Yes. And they do have that little lock there. Yeah, it just locks. Yeah. Okay, what we're going to do is pick the bag up with the ports pointing to the floor. The real floor now, this time. Now the real floor. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to tap just the two outer ports. Because the middle one has a whole tubing behind it with air in it. We don't want that in the bag. What we're trying to do is take the air from these two outer ports and get it into the bag so we can push it out. Okay, push that's it. good. Now we want to clamp the bag right there on the neck, but where the neck joins the bag. Here. Right there, that's perfect. Okay. okay. Turn your bag around, you can still use your dominant hand. And we're going Actually, to I, I could use either hand. You know. Do the same thing with the other side. Okay. Okay. Lay your bag down. Okay, just lay me down. And open your little blue slide clamp. Open the blue side clamp. Okay. okay. We're going to pick the bag up by the middle port. That's the neck of the bag. Don't pick it up by the spike because the spike will come out. Okay. okay. As you pick it up like that, you see your hemostats have fallen together. It's yes, like a ma little handle. So we'll hold them like a handle. Okay. Let your bag rest on the table. 
And then we're just going to push down on the bag and your table can do your work for you. Ah, and you can hear okay. the air going through mm -hmm. it. Just, just push down. If you keep this back a little bit, that keeps the wrinkle out from here. Okay. Did I spike it far enough? Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. See, this bag has a lot more air in it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here, let me show you here with your hand. If you take the handle and kind of hold it more down uh -huh. and, and this up, okay. then that keeps that, all that oh, wrinkle and keeps everything centered. Okay. See, so you have your wrinkle again. It's a little bit hard with that sharp bag. It's going. It's going. Okay. Now when you get a wrinkle like that, let's just let let loose for a minute. And then you can do that. And then we'll just kind of mess with it. Can I interrupt you one second? I guess. Thank you. <laughs> Are you still taking the multivitamin? I was looking at the dietitian sheet and she had a bunch uh, of stuff No, I, I just bought them yesterday. Okay, because she said something you're on a multivitamin. No. B12 and We're to get no, I just, I just bought the... some yesterday. I, I had some in California, but I didn't bring them. Yeah. Yeah, Mexico, but I didn't bring you, them. Okay. We need to have you stop them if you are taking the B12 and okay. can That's okay. accelerate we have your growth. Plans for that. Okay. Take it, because usually the multivitamins have B12 and okay. yeah. You can find some without, they're difficult, but. Okay. So you haven't really taken it? No. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Now take your heating stats off. See, our procedure for doing that at that time was to get the large amount of air, the largest amount of air out. We're still going to have bubbles in there. Okay? Good. And we have these bubbles in the line, but they will be flushed as we continue to work on the bag. Okay. okay, now we're going to pick the bag up and we're going to tap all three ports this time. And you see no more air coming. This is when we're going to lay the bag down parallel on the table with the clear side up. It looks pretty good. Oh, it looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. Okay. Take your hemostat and we're going to tap around the edges. They get caught in the seams and the corners. Oh, I see they do. Mm -hmm. okay. Now this is where we're going to make a channel. And let me just show you how we're going to do that first. We're going to pinch right below the bubble. Mm -hmm. And we will stretch the neck of the bag, and that makes a nice big ridge there. And then the bubbles will just ride up and down through that. But we, first of all, we need to open our little blue clamp. Okay. Okay. And you're not going to break the bag, so don't be afraid to pull it. Pull it real taut. Lift. Straight up. Okay. Then let go of the pinch and pick up the hemostat. And then we'll just tap our bag and it will follow that little channel right on up. Right and Give the neck a couple of good taps. Go down low too, guys. All the way from down here. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to squeeze the bottom of the bag, let it rest on the table, squeeze the bag with your left hand, and we'll take the hemostats. We're going to squeeze hard and we're going to tap hard right in the spike area. Make sure they all come out of the spike. It's okay. Here. Kind of hold it like that and it just kind of sucks it back up in there. Okay. Still see a couple of them. That's okay because we're going to take care of those. The main thing we want to get are these big bubbles out of here now that are stuck in here. So squeeze real hard and tap. Okay, that looks like we got them. Okay, now we're going to take and lay the bag down on the table and we're going to put our forearm on it. Okay. Move it back just a little bit so you can have put your arm, bring your arm up here, your forearm, because you want to hold this. 
tubing like so. Okay. Little finger and pinky with this same hand that you're pressing with. Okay. And stretch it out. Put it between your fingers like you're holding a cigarette or something. As you put apply pressure. Oh, okay. uh -huh. They get stuck in that little round part. It's like they divide up into a million buckles after they get in there. The more pressure you can put on, the better. Because okay. they can't go anywhere without you pushing behind it. Okay, and then we'll just move our way up the tube with keeping pressure on the tube. Just dumping our little bubbles on along. Okay. Now when we get to this part right up here, see this little tab that's on there right there? That's the one that con uh, connects in with the sensor and the pump, and it tells the pump that there's a, a set in there. So we want to be very careful with that and not break it off, because if it breaks off, then the tubing is useless for us. So put your thumb over that, thumb and pinky, and then stretch. That way the thumb protects your little tab there. Okay. And then just thump, thump and press it. And you can thump hard as long as you don't thump on Your dressing change kit. It's a sterile kit. Comes to you like this. You're going to pull up the back and open it up. Take out your inside contents. You want to make sure you've washed your hands before this. I just washed mine. Okay. What I'm going to do is open up the kit. We have, on top, we have one mask. The mask is taken and put on like so. There's a wire at the top. You bend it over your nose. Just put the little rings around your ears. Spread your mask out so you don't die of heat stroke. Okay. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I'm going to get some. Let me go. Okay. Don't, don't be nervous, dear. Oh, I'm not nervous. I get taped all the city channels always in here. Anyway, so what I need to do now is this is my sterile dress, uh, dressing kit. I'm going to open up, bring the first one down towards me, take the second layer go back the other way. Do not touch anything right now. Now I need to go in and pick up the gloves. The f there's two sets of gloves in here. The first pair is for uh, taking off the old dressing. And we're going to go over to the table so I can open this up and show you how it is open. We're going to lay this down on the table. And you see a left and a right. Open it the sides up without touching the inside. Just press down the end so it doesn't fly back up and hit you. Pick the glove up by the cuff. Put your fingers in as best that you can get. They don't always go in the right slots, but then you're going to take this hand and go under the cuff because you don't want to touch the powdery stuff. Put your fingers in again and get them on. Now you can adjust if they need to be adjusted. Okay, We're going to go back to our patient and we're going to remove the old dressing. The best way to do is to find a loose edge, pick up the edge, and then just push the skin away. This is the less painful way. Okay, Ken, don't be jumping. Go all the way around the edges. The ideal thing is to take the shirt off, but Ken didn't want to take the shirt off. Okay. With the hair starting to grow back, you can shave. But be very careful not to touch the inside. Okay, now you're going to have the inside dressing. We need to remove it from the catheter without pulling the catheter out. So it sticks to the very top dressing and you'll see that the catheter is right there where it goes into the chest. And once we can get all that away, then we'll be able to pull it away from the patient. 
could actually take a scissors and cut it, huh? Well, the thing is, unless you have sterile scissors, you don't want to be putting anything on there like uh, that right now. Of course. Okay. Well, okay, we're free. So now we're going to take this and the gloves and just pull them off because we need new gloves now. Okay, we're going to pick up our new gloves. We're going to come over to the table and do the same thing. Cuff in down towards us. Cuff in down. Open up. Press the edges down. Pick up by the inside cuff. Put the fingers in. Go under the cuff. Put the fingers in. Okay, this time we're going to come over and we're going to pick up the little red bag that's on top. Everything's always in the same order. Put the little tie over to the side. We're going to open up. This is a biohazard bag and you're supposed to put your infectious waste, which this is not infected, but it has to go in a proper place and it has to be in a red bag so it warns someone that what's in the bag, that something is in the bag that they don't want to touch. We're going to put it just right in his lap. There's two little packets. One has iodine, one has alcohol. We're going to open the packets up. We're going to, they have iodine in them with three swabs each. Just open it up. Put your garbage there in the little bag. And what I like to do is go ahead and start with your iodine first. Pull the swab out as you do. Just gently squeeze the bottom so it's not real drippy. We're going to start right in the center and work our way around in a bullseye fashion. All the way around just turning our swab as we go along. Work out to as far as the dressing will be going. Okay? In the trash, get another swab. Repeat the same thing. We always start in the middle, work our way out. And the middle is considered the cleanest part. We always start there. Use up all three swabs. And you want to be careful because sometimes the little fuzzy part of the cotton might get caught in his sutures and you don't want to pull too hard. Mm -hmm. The sutures will stay in there the whole time that he has the catheter. The sutures will remain at that area. Okay. Drop our little bag in there. Now we take our alcohol and wipe off all the excess betadine. Some people like to leave that iodine on. I do not. We found in surgery that the iodine really eats up the skin. So we, sorry honey. His is still a little tender. He's only had it about a week. Yeah, the other stitches, when can we pull those? That one, seven to 10 days. Okay. This is our last one. You'll see a little redness there, but that redness is uh, granulation and healing. That's the normal process. It's the uh, uh, granulation grabs hold of the catheter and keeps it real tight. Okay. Now, I talked about iodine, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and put just a wee bit of the iodine right in the center. Just a little dab, squeeze it out. This is real thick, but the body temperature will heat it up and let it go around. I just want it only in that spot. I'm going to take two gauze, one that has a split in it, and I just gently raise this up, place this under the tubing at the site. I'm, at the site, I'm going to pick up the catheter and I will make a loop in it. That loop is protection mm -hmm. for it not being able to be pulled out as easily as it normally would be. Okay, at this point I have what we call Tegaderm. 
it's clear it comes prepared like this and what I want to do is open it up I have to peel the back off drop the back and I'm going to come back with this and place it right onto the dressing you really want to try to keep it away from the nipple as much as possible because that just might hurt more when you pull it off Okay, squeeze it real good at the tubing site, and there's your dressing. Except for the date. At that, this point, you want to put your date on it. It has a little tag. That, that way it lets any doctor or nurse know. I just write his name on it. Zugman, right? <laughs> uh, I change it. I put today's date, which is 620. 05 and I'll just put my nerd, my initials that way we'll, anybody that looks at it will know just when it's been changed okay what you're always looking for is a little bit of drainage any puffiness redness any drainage of any kind but it's not draining it looks very clean and dry and uh, it's healing quite well okay so that's your dressing change now we can go ahead and hook him up.